a tradition and the entire Protestant world has accepted it as tradition for there is not an iota of scripture to establish it. Therefore, that which Protestants have accepted as their rule of faith, inadequate as it of course is, as well as your Sunday, you have accepted on the authority of the Roman Catholic Church. And so the Bible says, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and born, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. And in verse 18 it says, Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding do what? Count or calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. So, with the solution of the worsening state of affairs, that solution would be to, to force everyone to become Christian, to accept Christ or die, because God is angry with the sinful world. And those who do not conform will be ostracized, penalized, or put to death. And God's people would be included in this number for as they try to explain that the true worship is based on the Bible and the Bible only, and that the real Christian Sabbath is on the seventh day, they will be derided as fundamentalists, as anti-unity, and as being the cause for the plagues. And the more sure water prophecy leaves us with one last identifying mark of this system, so that we may have no doubt, and that is the number of the beast. It says here, it is the number of his name, and that we should calculate that number. Now, what is the name or the title of the beast? Remember in Revelation chapter 13, verse 1, And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast, this is the first beast, the papal power, rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his head, horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the what? Name. The name of blasphemy. Remember he says name is character or office. In this case, it's office. The papacy office replaces the Son of God. Now, who could remember the Latin word for this word, replace or substitute? It is what? Who could remember? It begins with V. Vicarious. And the Latin for son is Fili, and the Latin for God is D. We'll see how this comes, this um, shapes up. Remember, in Crossing the Threshold of Hope by Pope John Paul II, in his book, The, the Pope, in the, in the chapter, sorry, The Pope, A Scandal and a Mystery, Pope John Paul said, the leader of the Catholic Church is the one who represents the Son of God, who vicarious fili dei. He, he explains further, who takes the place of the second person. So, takes the place, the same, substitute, vicarious, that word there, son, file, and de. So we see here, takes the place of the son of God, in Latin means, vicarious, file, de. We'll see what that means. In, in the year what? You see that year? 1148, in the Decretals of the Canon Law of the Roman Catholic Church, we find this title, here is the photocopy of the actual document. And on this page here, we find in Latin, Yicarius Philae Dei, in the year 1148. Okay, so that was a title of the papacy there, which means that we saw Vicar of the Son of God. And then in the book, The Temporal Power of the Vicar of Jesus Christ, which was written in 1865, sorry, he was appointed in 1865. The book was published in 1862. We find it again, Vicar of the Son of God. So because the church seems weak, the Vicar of the Son of God is renewing passion of his master. So here we see a, a title, a name of blasphemy because only the Holy Spirit has been said to replace the Son of God. Remember, Jesus says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will send you the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit is the one that replaces Christ on earth, not the papacy. Here again, in this year now, 1914, 
So we went from the year 1148 all the way up to 1914, which is a space of about 800 years. Here again we have, in this um, newspaper, the, the 1914 edition of our Sunday Visitor, a Catholic publication, it says here, the title of the Pope of Rome is Vicarius Philidae. I don't know if you can see that from where you are. It says the title of the Pope of Rome is Vicarius Philidae. This is inscribed on his mitre. Now, why did we choose this name? One, because according to the prophecy, it's a name of blasphemy. And we have to calculate the number of his name. And Roman, numer Roman letters have numerical value. For example, if we see the, the letter X, we know it means 10. If we see the letter V, we know it means 5. So why are we using Roman numerals? Because the, la the, 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 the language of the papacy is Latin, right. right? And it is from Rome. So we can't use any other language. You can't use the English language. You can't use the Persian language. As some people come up with names, and then they use all sorts of languages to numerate the names to come to 666. But you have to use the Roman name because the power is Roman. You have to use the Roman language because the name is Roman. And then you need to calculate the number of the beast. And it, you need to arrive at 603 score and 6. Now let me say something before we go ahead. The papacy denies that Vicarius Philidae was ever a title of the Pope. But as we saw from 1148 to 1914, 800 years, it was so. Why, why do they deny it? Because it has been brought to their attention that V value is 5, I value is 1, C value is 100, A and R have no value, I is 1, U is 5, S has no value, adds up to 112, F no value, I is 1, L is 50, I and I, those are 1 each, adds up to 53, D values 500, E has no value, I has 1, adds up to 501, if you take the total of all of that, it comes to 666, the Roman numerical value of the Roman title, Vicarius Philidae, is 666. So brethren, the papacy denies this title because it has been brought to their attention. But even without this title, we have enough information in Revelation 13 to know whom the Bible is talking about. So brethren... The third angel follows, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. You either worship the Son of God or the self-proclaimed vicar of the Son of God. If you worship the Son of God, you are in trouble with the self-proclaimed vicar of the Son of God. And if you worship the self-proclaimed vicar of the Son of God, you are in trouble with the Son of God. What is going to be your decision?